So what is a VPS? A VPS is a virtual private server. In simple terms, it is a computer up in the cloud, which can be accessed through your computer, through your mobile, through your tablets. The first advantage of using a VPS is that uh, you get access to the latest uh, hardware architecture. So you get very fast machines, which are non-lagging. The second advantage is there is no requirement of internet connection. The VPS is always connected to the internet. So you don't have to have a personal internet connection and then worry about the internet being slow or unstable or broadband not working. The third advantage is that the VPS is running 24 into 7. You don't have the worry of starting it on in the morning and then closing it down after the market closes because the VPS can run 24 into 7. It is actually a boon to be able to use the VPS for installing MetaTrader. So it is a very ideal solution for beginners who don't want to invest money into a very expensive computer. It is also a very good solution for office goers who cannot access or keep their computers open all the time for the software to run and process. So I will show you how to set up this VPS. Fortunately, there are excellent VPS services which are free on which we can install our uh, trading platform with ease. So we are going to use a VPS uh, service by Amazon. It's called the Amazon EC2 service. Uh, this particular service is available at the following website. And once you visit that website, you get an option here, try Amazon EC2 for free. Now this uh, is a free offer for one year where you can use the VPS for 750 hours every month which is enough for 31 days in a month so let us uh, learn how to install this VPS it is very easy to do it and anyone can do it after following this video so we click on this uh, try Amazon EC2 for free and it will ask us to create a AWS account here so we will create an AWS account here So we can select a personal here and uh, you can put in your details here. Check this and you can create your account. So it will ask you for the credit card or debit card information here. Now this is to ensure that uh, the person is opening an account is not a bot which is doing it. It is a real person. Now second is because there may be times where uh, if you don't use or you overuse the EC2 then Amazon will send you a bill and charge it to your account. So since we are using a free account and we will be remaining into the free limit there is no problem in putting in this data. To check the card details it will charge you rupees 2 when you submit the details and this will be refunded again back to your account once the account has been validated. So you can put in your credit card and debit card details here and you will be required to put in your PAN number and then press submit. So once your uh, credit card or debit card details are submitted, it will ask you to confirm your identity. So you can put in your phone number here, complete the security check and then say contact me. Next is select a support plan. So we'll go for the basic plan which is the free plan. Select the free plan. And then we can go to sign in to the console. We can sign in the email ID through which you registered and then press next. So we have signed in. So the first thing which you're going to do now is we're going to change the data center to Pacific Mumbai. The closer you are to the data center, the faster your data is processed. So we are through with the first registration part of VPS service. Next step now is click AWS here. So we will go to the EC2 dashboard and we will go to AMI and we will uh, select public images here and we will type the word MetaTrader. So I have already created an image here with Windows installed in MetaTrader. We are going to select this MetaTrader and we are going to say launch. We are going to select the free tie eligible and say review and launch. 
Then we are going to say launch again. Now here we are going to create a pair key. So we say create a new pair key and we give it a nice name so that we can remember. You can use your personal name. I will call it orb-demo-vpsec2. And I'll say download key pair. So it will automatically download this file. I'll save this file on my computer and then I'll say launch instance. Now that is it. You are done. Your instance is getting launched. It will have Windows installed on it. It will have MetaTrader ready for you to install there. This takes a little time. So you have to be a little patient. And once this is done, we'll move on to the next step. Let us check whether the instance is launched. So we'll click AWS here and we can go to EC2 straight away. So here we see that our instance is already launched. It is already successfully running now. So we'll click on the instance now. Now it is very, very important to note here that we have to attach something called an elastic IP to this particular instance. Because if we don't do that, then Amazon will start charging us for the amount of hours which you are going to use. To do it, we'll go to Elastic IP. We'll say Allocate New Address. We'll say Allocate and a new IP address is created for us. We'll say Close. Now the next step is this IP address has to be associated with the instance which we created. So we'll right click here. We'll say Associate Address. And we will select the instance here. This is the instance we have. We will again select the private IP and we say associate and we are done. So we go back to the EC2 dashboard. So now we see we have got one running instance and one elastic IP which is good enough for us. Next step now is that how do we access this VPS which we have created? It is very simple. All that you have to do is you have to go in to your Windows account. Just search for remote desktop and you click on remote desktop and then you have this desktop which will open up. So in the name of the computer here, we'll have to put the elastic IP. In the username, what we're going to do is we're going to put administrator. We'll click allow me to save credentials and we'll say connect. So it's going to ask me the password for this particular connection. So we can actually choose the password which I have shared with you all. This password can be entered here and we say OK. Then it gives me the next screen that the identity of the remote computer cannot be verified. You just have to say don't ask this again and say yes. And bingo. We are connected to our VPS server. So we say this is an identical Windows machine up on the cloud. The VPS will ask for network confirmation. We can give it yes. And we have the machine ready. So this is the VPS machine which gets initiated and installed automatically through the process which we just saw. So the next process is very simple. We already have the MT4 setup file here. Just click on the MT4 setup file here and say yes, I agree. Next. We can close the browser. The MT4 will get installed on your virtual server. So there we have the MD4 which is up and running. So we see it doesn't take much time to install the entire instance and get it preloaded with Windows and MT4. So all that you have to do now is you need to put in the login details and get your ORB screener, set it up on this and get running. It is as simple as that. The way we have accessed this VPS through the remote desktop on Windows you can access the same VPS installation through your mobile also. So finally, we can conclude that all those who are having problems in getting the latest computer or not being able to use the office computer, or not being able to use the upgraded computer, or for some cases are using Mac, they can all start using MetaTrader and the ORB screener on a VPS server. And it is not only cost effective, it is also time saving and very easy to handle.
This is the VPS machine which we created through the Android phone. We need to go to Google App Store and look for Microsoft Remote Desktop and install it on your Android phone. Once it is installed, you can open the app, press the plus sign here and create a desktop. Put in the Elastic IP here, create a new user account. So we'll add user account. The username will be administrator and the password will be the password which have been given to you. Save it and we will save this user and we have a shortcut ready. So all that we need to do now is just connect the shortcut and you will see that the server is connected with your Android phone. So you have the entire VPS now on the Android which can be controlled by the Android phone. This is how you can use the remote desktop to access your VPS and access your MetaTrader 4.